What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? This is just me, Ivy Redemption. We're playing on a little bit of a uh, Castle Miner Z right now. This game is a, uh, I think it's fairly new. I haven't seen it mentioned that much recently. But basically, it's like all those other games you're gonna see playing out there: the Fortress Craft, the Minecraft, the Forge Miner Total Craft Z. All the, <laughs> all the ones with names like that. Basically, though, this one has a bit of a twist, as you can see. We have machine guns. We have zombies. Anyway, I'm just messing around with a couple of friends on here. I'm going to be showing you exactly, you know, what kind of things you can expect in this game. As you can see, it's pretty different to the rest of them. Uh, right now, I've got a submachine gun, which is kind of strange. You're never going to see that in uh, Minecraft, are you? But basically, there are many different game modes. Well, by many, I mean four. There are four different game modes on uh, Total... No, it's called Castle Miner, not Castle Miner Z. Uh, there's one called Endurance, there's one called Survival, one called Free Build, and one called Dragon Endurance. This one we're playing here, it's called Survival. And the point of it is, in the daytime you go out and you explore, and you, crea uh, you create and collect stuff. As you can see, we've, this is the stuff I've created here. And this is all the stuff which I can create. You can see there's like AK-47s and shotguns and all kinds of different bullets and tools and everything going. And basically, at night time, the zombies come. <laughs> you get zombies, you get skeletons, you get all kinds of crazy ass things, they all differ, they all vary, the further you get in, the more you survive, the harder they get, and um, it happens every night, and you can hear them screaming and going kind of crazy in the background there, and the idea is to sort of survive against them, obviously, and what we've done here is we've come out to this little desert area, and we've built ourselves a nice defensive position, oh, where's he going, where's he going? That's what the uh, zombies look like. They vanish quite rapidly there. But this is basically our little defensive position in the desert. It's our little oasis, I think we should call it. And um, we built it for some reason out of snow. Snow in the desert. I know that's pretty oxymoronish, but I think that works pretty well. But um, this this is basically the point of the game. You sit here, you survive, that's it. And of course, there's lots of different ways to do that. You can go and build an underground cavern. You can build an above ground fortress. You got all the rifles and assault rifles and SMGs, pistols, knives, or other melee weapons. You can guard them with your fists. You can hack at them with a pickaxe, all kinds of stuff like that. And basically, this world, as you can see, it's, it's pretty varied. It goes on infinitely in any direction you want. Uh, it goes from deserts to mountain ranges to snowy areas to hell. I mean, if you tunnel straight down there, straight down there, you're going to eventually reach hell. Which kind of sucks, but you know, there's a lot of stuff down there which you can use called Bloodstone, which is actually an immensely. I have this uh, this pick. The top is red because it's Bloodstone. It is the most powerful pick in the game, and I can dig and dig and dig all day, and it won't break, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, this this isn't much of a video. This is a really short video of us just having a little bit of fun, a little bit of survival going on. But uh, I just wanted to. This is kind of another review because I know I said that I was going to be doing some of these reviews, and this this obviously is another one because I reviewed the, this is the, the sequel to the first one which I just reviewed called Castle Miner. Uh, obviously I don't know where this sequel was going, it started off just building houses and then they thought, oh no, we'll chuck dragons and zombies in it because you can get dragons too. You have these full blown crazy fire breathing dragons that drop diamonds and shit when you kill them. So that's always a fun day out. And um, hold on a second, as you can see the graphics could be a little bit better. But they're pretty cool for what they are. I mean, this thing costs 240 Microsoft points to download, which is a, sh a bit of a sharp increase on the price of the, from the prequel. But um, it's a fun game for what it is. You can play online with like 16 different friends. You know, the world is huge. There's a lot to do. There's a lot to see, and it's fun. So if you're looking for another indie game you want to play, I recommend this one because it's pretty cool. And um, uh, I'm going to be doing some more of these reviews in future over the next couple of weeks. Uh, we're going to be having stuff like there's a thing called the One Dollar Zombie Game, which is pretty fun, which lasts for about 30 seconds of enjoyment. So I'll show you guys that. And uh, apart from that, I should be getting my new Xbox in about a month. So expect a lot of videos. But I'm going to be bringing a lot of pretty awesome videos out. So I hope you are going to be subscribing so you can see them. I hope you're going to be enjoying them when I do make them, and I hope you enjoyed this video. So don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, whatever you want. And thank you for listening, and I'll talk to you again soon, guys.